Okay, this is our priority tour number. Nobody knows the number. I think it's number seven. <laughs> seven. Oh, <someone> knows the <laughs> so this is a special number seven priority tour. And, um, and so we are going to talk about what were our priorities. We had one on um, platform feature 162, right? We had two there. Two there, okay. Let's see. We have we had the occupation debris mm -hmm. between two floors, right? What we call the floor. So um, that's um, eight two eight six and eight three. Eight two eight six and eight two eight three one zero. Eight three one zero. Okay. Um, why did we? Why did we divide into two? Oh, because the, the these two. Yeah, why because the, the, um, the uh, whole platform is divided into quadrants. Ah, these are two quadrants. Okay. okay. So, did you have anything interesting? Mm. You're supposed to be occupation debris. Right. Uh, I did one sample and Katie did one sample. Oh, mm. oh. Okay. I had the maestro doing one. <laughs> 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 wow. Mm. <laughs> It was four liters, so that's modest. Oh, sorry, 8286 sample seven. Mm -hmm. uh, the density was low to very low, and it was not very diverse. It's, ma it's mainly wool with chaff being second, okay? So there's a lot of chaff. Now, when we find chaff, chaff means many things, but it usually means leftover fires or mud brick making or just stuff wafting around, right? Okay. Uh, and there are very few cereal grains and four different wild seed taxa, but not but you know, I have like five or six seeds altogether. So it's right. it's it's very sparse. I call I call it an unassuming sample. Huh? Um, <laughs> There's some parenchyma which suggests, like this bag that Ruth just gave me, um, that it may have come from earthier oven debris. Uh, okay, because clearly they took it from somewhere and put it in there to layer it, right? Or it was part of living, and that's what I want to ask you about it. Do you think that little deposit between your floors was part of living, and that's why you called it occupation? Yes. yes. As opposed to being brought in and packed in. Yes. Great, okay. Uh, we well, suspect this was. We are not entirely sure, of course, because it is, that's the layer, that's the mixture of the packing that, that is right on the floor. But it was so and dense and so thick. I think dense that's right. what? I mean, so thin. Thin. Yeah. So dense, it was only like two millimeters thick. I mean, uh, yeah, I see what you're saying. Um, so the heavy residue items across the board were very sparse compared to normal, say, but I don't, I sort of looked through all the forms, right. I mean, I'm just getting a vague sense. It seemed like A217 to me. Like A217. A217. Mm -hmm. Oh, A217 was uh, exactly the same stuff on top of that platform. Yeah. So it makes sense. So either they're all using them the same way and sort of, and, and making them the same way when they start adding, saying it's time to put a new floor on it. Sure, 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 sure. But it's sparse. So to me, it has a sense of leftover floor use because there'll be a few things there, but there won't be very much. So that was my mm -hmm. okay. And the other sample, 8310, sample mm -hmm. 4. And also, uh, well, there, because there's no available scales right now, the estimate of the densities, but it seemed to be low, low density, very low densities mm -hmm. also. Um, and there's a, it's in moderate condition, so it was for probably a, a medium heat, the, cer the cereals um, were, they had lost their test but they hadn't been, uh, they turned into like uh, bubbly, shiny bits. Mm -hmm. um, and it was also the high fragmentation, so probably got in the ground, travel on, kind of blown around. Uh, and the sample was, most of it was wood. There was a little bit of some, some cereal and some chaff. And um, the only other things in it were a very little uh, 
two, two pieces of herbaceous material and um, two seed types. I saw uh, cypressine and naba seed types. Mm -hmm. so, Had the same types in them. And, and, um, so it was very low diversity also. And that was really, it seems very similar to the one. Did you have parenchyma? Oh, yeah, I had some parenchyma. Uh, and I, I always scanned the one in the uh, but unless they were there. So the same stuff then, also all the same. Um, you, uh, have you looked, or oh, we should probably have asked if you looked to compare it to the previous hack in the book, the Congratulations of the Asylum, on this floor, which also, I, if I remember well, sounds like, seems to be very similar to what, this. What's the unit number? Um, what the people have to I was hoping that they would have it in their notes. It was one of the prior units? The, uh, mm -hmm. Is it No, that's the one that's over there. 
Oh, too bad. <laughs> <laughs> and that was the only one, and then you had what? The little bit of debris. That way. But it is still very low. Mm. And not, not much different from what you had before. Mm. Mm. <coughs> this is a. Just a few. A bit stupid. Nothing really, okay. Okay, so the, the packing then, if, if it's not the occupation debris and the packing was really clean from. Oh, this is Carrie. This is your yeah. A two five one. It's over there. Mm -hmm. I also didn't get mine. Oh really? Yeah, I had some, but I found I, I went in there this morning to make sure that everything had come through with this mm -hmm. one, and then I found more too. So. Um, I had um, I had a particular find you a pig, which I haven't had any pig in the building yet. Ah, pig! Oh, pig! Oh, yeah. Uh, and there's what seems to be um, articulated yes. for a sheep goat, but I, I only just got it just for breakfast. So yeah, it was articulated. Mm -hmm. it, was it was articulated. articulated. It was. That sheep goat again? Yeah, that, remember I showed it to you? Yeah. Oh, I'll check it out. This was a rather massive packing here. It was like 25, 30 centimeters. That was uh, around and under the, that big uh, oven, 646 in here. And um, a lot of material. What does that mean? That they threw the whole thing? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh -huh. So it doesn't matter. It's a fair uh, process to extent. You, you cannot say they were processed or not, is that? It does all the time. Most of the bone was being scratched up so that they could extract the bone from the Oh, I see. Okay. So they, they were first picking out and then threw out the bones and, <laughs> and then we found them. Um, all right. So, uh, Sonia, did you have anything in these units here that you thought they Yeah, it was very thin layer who wouldn't expect to have a play ball in it. Or if you had the fragments of them, they would have been such a small, tiny fragments, you wouldn't know that they're clever. Yeah, usually they send me the little bits of, I look at the little bits of clay too, if it comes in. Mm -hmm. Lower density, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, 
like, no, Sylvia, no, one, two. <laughs> so then, shall we go to our next unit? Which we have units in the kitchen area. We have um, a several priority, little priority samples that Peja <coughs> sent to you. Did you get this? Eight two nine eight eight three zero eight. Nobody told us about eight three zero eight. No, we not. We got eight three zero nine. Eight three zero nine. Maybe that's the one. That's from over there. Yeah. Eight three one three. And eight three one three was supposed to be. From you don't have that one. Right. That one apparently is lost. Right. That's the number we're looking at. Okay. So then the only one from the kitchen that you have looked at is 8298. Where is that? Where, where uh, the kitchen? Is that it's, it's here. We had an oven here, which was cut and then cleared in the forest, divided by yellowish packing. And, uh, Here we are, priority to number seven. Uh, in the meantime. So, which exactly? We're at 8298, said floor and heart remains. Floor and what? Heart remains. Where are the written down the fire department. That's here. That's this. So, that's between this, the this floors? This square here. No, oh, yeah, that's what Those were floors, actually. Floors and stuff on top of floors? Uh, floors, they were black floors used with a lot of ash, a lot of. Uh, do you think it was in C2 burning that ash? <coughs> no, I think it's, it's uh, from the oven. Is the oven, where's the oven? The oven's the here. Here. The this oven's side. there. So where's the mouth of the oven? Uh, we don't know that. This uh, way. You this think way. it's this way? Yeah, to the center. Yeah, we know so that. this would have been sort of pushed around the side during use of the oven, you think? So maybe some hot... Low, low level part and some yeah. break out. Yeah. Then we break, break out, out. Yeah. general yeah. break out yeah. and then floor on top. We had three thin layers of floor yeah. with break out in between them use this pack. Yeah, and they so just sort of left it. Yeah. That's very like, good. Yeah. Yeah, we thought that sample, those samples would be very interesting. Yeah. Especially because it is sorry, because it is such a a uh, small area, it's just between this wall and the plant in, and the oven uh, wall, which was here. So it's this small area where they were just shoveling stuff that was the, maybe so after cleaning the, the oven, floor. putting it in the corner and then just putting a layer of floor on top of it. Okay, so the, but the, the, the reason why I'm asking this is when you hear what I have to say, it'll be, it's not, it's weird. It's uh, weird. 800 cc's, so it's not, it's not even a, a liter, right? It's just mm -hmm. a little bit. What, do you think that this was between two floors or multiple? Did it go floor, <coughs> rake out, floor, rake out? Yes. Or did you just send down floor, rake out? Okay, will you uh, let me take a look at the, the unit sheet and tell you exactly what. Well, okay, well, uh, try, uh, try to divide, uh, add the black layers, mm -hmm. like really well, black, black. Mm -hmm. And then the, some yellowish, orangish, I think it was packing in between them. And I tried to or divide the them. Sorry? Could, could that yellowish have been floor? It certainly was packing on the floor, if not the floor itself. <laughs> Uh, I think I think the black layer of floors and then and the uh, the orange stuff would be would be packing or uh, making up of of of, of that floor area. Yeah. Well, the reason why I'm asking how many levels, you know, mini levels, events you you have is because this is an extremely pure sample. It suggests one event. And that's why I'm asking you if you think it's a composite, the sample you sent in was a composite, or just this breakout between two floors. Mm -hmm. We all went together in one sample. No, no, you, you had three samples, I think. Well, I'm only three talking different. about one, sample two. Sample two. Page, are you talking about 8298? 8298? Yeah. 
The first one would be the first floor attacking, the first black layer attacking. That's the probably this one. It no, no, it was not the last one. Yes, that would be so. The first black layer and uh, you came and through. attacking underneath it. I call it attacking. Okay, so th that's good because if it had been a composite, this would be a very strange sample. Uh, because it is all wood. All wood. Well, that makes sense. It's the fuel from the oven, right? Yeah, but pure fuel. I mean, you know, normally we think there's some chaff and a little herb, you know, stuff people throw in and kind of mix around. Mm -hmm. This is like just a pure fire, you know, maybe a baking fire or something. You know, they, they went in, they cooked, and they took it out, and it's wood. Now, we have problems with the scale. So the diversity is A, which means it's no diversity at all. I mean, there was like, I'll, I'll tell you in a minute, there was, um, there was, it looked like sort of two types of wood, if you will. There was two small nutshell pieces in addition to this, but the wood looked like normal, you know, kind of Quercus or dense wood and then very airy, which could have been mature plus surface stock. You know, they could have used something, or sycamore, something that's very water loving. Okay, so they would have been, it seemed like two major wood sources, but it was wood and not grass and not twigs and not stalks. Okay. Okay. Uh, the burning was lowish, meaning low fire. It wasn't high fire and very, very hot. Okay, so it was sort of like one type of burn. Okay, and, I, and from, from it, I, I thought, I interpreted that it wasn't burning in situ. And that's good, because it wasn't, from what you're telling me. Uh, let me just say that this is correct. <coughs> Due to priority, it seems to be rake. I said it seems to be a rake, one rake out from a fire or an oven nearby. Mm -hmm. That was my prediction, and I, I hadn't been on. That's what you said on the energy So. Wow. Oh, wow. Look at this. <laughs> and the heavy residue, as they'll all tell you, is very sparse. There was one little bone. Or... Well, did you have? Yeah, that's true. That's it was very <coughs> And you're writing with Bexon standard from last week. <laughs> Three pieces. Three pieces. Oh, no, no, no. The standard. Standard is no pieces or one to two. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but. but could, ha uh, could it be just the stuff in the oven that was on the, in the inside? If you imagine the oven has a superstructure, <coughs> and so on the side of the oven, on the inside, you have all these pieces of wood. The, the central part of the oven gets used, that the major fire is on it. Then the food that's being cooked is in, in the center. And then they collect that, they take it out, they do with it whatever they do with it. But there is this amount of fuel that stays on the very sides of the oven on the inside and that at some point they just clean that out. Now I really I really can't say I haven't done any ethnographic nor have I read about micro collections in a oven mm -hmm. in terms of use deposition. I can tell you what they told me about the breakouts from the village. Okay. I just asked the other day. Actually, I was telling Slogo about it. Um, when I asked how often they break out the oven or what they take out the ash, they said that they cook, they leave the ash in there, and then the next time they're ready to use it, they scoop it all out. Right. Clean it no, out that's, that's a different it. thing than the pa She's asking about the pattern of what's where. And that's the problem. No, no, you're yeah. trying to say, you're trying to figure out why is this so pure? Why is it why is it Why is it there chaff? Yeah. And yeah. what we normally get bits and bobs of herbaceous material right. and some burnt right. cereal right. grain. Right. But if you oh, had yeah. if you just had wood in a fire and right. that's what you were using to that's heat, right. and then the next time you used it, you scooped right. it yeah. out, it would explain that. That's, that that's exactly like what right. I that's right. what I think is that right. the oven was fairly clean. Mm -hmm. They cooked a wood fire. Mm -hmm. One event, and then they did a one event cleaning. Right, but then but the only problem with that is that uh, how many layers of the same stuff we would have had in this oven if they next to the oven if they if this was only one event, you know they they were presumably cooking every day Maybe or once a week. Maybe there's too much time. Yeah, there's multiple layers of this, right? Yeah. Yeah, but we had three layers, or maybe if we well, we, did, we didn't we had spot another sample, sample seven, and we didn't. 
settled, okay, you go, you won't, you We didn't do that, is you the didn't. point. It somehow didn't end up in the priority box, and so we didn't. didn't. Hey, Rob, um, sample six is also quotation, that's second floor, that's the black yeah, layer. Exactly. All this would tell us if we did these three things, mm -hmm. you might get a sense of that they were these one time. Do we want, oh, yeah, we don't have this. Tell us priority two, I was going to say, why don't we have it for the next priority? Maybe we can, no, no, it's not. We can have another one on Saturday. Who is here on Saturday? <laughs> <laughs> Who is here? You can do that. Do those two, we'll try. Well, uh, yeah, we do those two, but there is an oh, extremely interesting one here coming up. It's just about to make its way to you guys. You have We're to trying to, like, get the heavy residue done. <laughs> 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 I'm sure when you see this material, you will be. No, just really want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> they don't want to do our priorities. <laughs> <laughs> we do. We just. They don't like us. <laughs> okay, so there. Sure, you have nothing. Okay. 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 Oh, and one last thing about the breakouts, if it's interesting, what they told me about, and now all the women agreed to this, what they do with the stuff, they rake it out and then they leave it there. And then the next time that their husband or whoever goes out to the fields, they take it to the fields and scatter it out. That's right. Yeah. That's very useful. Useful. Except, you know, so that's going to be the bulk of the breakout. But there's, we're not going to take every mm -hmm. micro yeah. fraction. So there's going to be these little bits yeah. left over. So they're going to gather up, I think even here, most of it, and leave mm -hmm. these bits. And as they carry it out, stuff's going to drop out of the basket. And that's why you get this little uh, low-level charred stuff yeah. kind of everywhere. Right. Yeah. Okay. Um, what else did you look at? Mm -hmm. Eight three or nine. It's taking about taking about all John is not here, I think John oh, yeah, John was it's it was um we had a floor above this one, <coughs> and this was above that floor. That was a packing. It was it seemed like interesting packing, and it also contained a lot of uh, large pieces of burned material, like wood pieces, and, and it seemed yeah, they had a lot of cereal and a lot of food remains in there. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Samples are 27 meters, and this is something with a low density, mm -hmm. but uh, actually not much wood. Mm -hmm. A small piece of wood and uh, lots of cereal, very burnt cereal, mm -hmm. and just a few chuck. Mm -hmm. Something, from, uh, some of them comes from sugar to farm. Mm -hmm. uh, and the most important thing is in the sample it is uh, seed, white seed, more than 200. Oh, wow, lots of wild. And most of them scurfus, yeah, I mean, reed seed. <laughs> and half, not, uh, more than half burned. Mm -hmm. I never seen this much seed in the packing. packing. Uh, really? Yeah, this was not your typical floor packing. If we could talk about the quotation debris and floor packing together, really. It seemed like that as we excavated. Normally, we find packings to be compacted to some extent. Mm -hmm. And um, this was not. This was loose. And it, it had a lot of, uh, like, almost looked like fresh ash. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not like a typical ash that you find here. And, and there are things in it, like grains that we could see. Um, and this was, this is the, this area of the house is interesting because it had to do with storage and processing of the plants, of course, this whole area. And the packing under that floor, deeper down under this floor, uh, shows that it's, it deliberately was made a very thick packing, very thin, as though it was trying to protect whatever the, the seeds uh, were here stored and processed. It was, it was well protected from the animals from underneath. Like, really um, nice job. <laughs> so 
I guess I'm not surprised by that. But the wild, wild seeds, what about them? Uh, green seed. Almost all seeds are scarce. And what would they do with reeds in here? Mats. Mats? Mats. But would you find seeds in the mats? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we actually had, but now inside this feature, uh, that was built, uh, this is a cir circular feature of one usual sh shape and, and uh, unusual or in general. So what we have inside, we have remains of mats, we think, and if Sloban covers it, you might be able to see. I, I don't know if I feel that far. What we're saying is that these, these reeds are used multi-purposely. I mean, they made baskets, they made them carrying things. They probably even made shawls. And, uh, just these reedy things, the small, fresh ones, the big, mature ones, would have been used just for everything. Right. So the fact that there was dense reed seeds meant that wherever that stuff was from, right. it had been probably processing a lot of that. Um, okay. Okay. Maybe it was something that was made, maybe it was making of it and taking off you know, the ends or something. Mm -hmm. Rather than just saying it seeds mean that. Right. Okay. Right. I, I don't feel comfortable. Right. 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 I don't think any of us. Yeah. Well, I, I was just going to add that in that particular area, we do find more of this kind of material. We find it inside the feature. Um, so, yeah, it could be, some of these seeds could be related to, to some extent, to the mass. Or, yeah, the thing, or other the, things the, as well. The accoutrements of daily life. Yeah. You know, yeah. yeah. Sure, and baskets, especially if this was a processing and storage area, they would have to use baskets all the time, scoop it out, take it, and bring it. Actually, no. It was on top of the floor that was on top of this floor, and the uh, next floor up. Uh, Heidi, did you have anything in here? Forty-two pieces of forty-two. Oh. Hey, wow. this was a good sample. This sample maybe was the, the number one this year, or maybe <laughs> number two after the the feel mm. of the mm. bin. Mm. Yeah. Wow, 42 pieces. But just uh, no tools, nothing like that. Just so, what is this uh, this uh, characteristic of <coughs> when you have so much obsidian in one place but not tools? How do you usually interpret that? <coughs> well, this is just very. Really, it's, it's very small. And if you can't really use it for anything, it's, mm -hmm. it's just garbage. Maybe they were using it for cutting weight. Yeah, but do you, do, you then, uh, do you then look at it as an activity area, area of a high activity of a particular sort? Or is this just typical? No, no, no you, you can't really tell anything from that because it, it could be fragments from reach it could be fragments from coal preparation, it could be fragments from anything. But they were not making the, the obsidian tools on that floor, most likely, right? No. What, what would they do with obsidian in those circumstances when they had all these things and baskets lying around? What would obsidian have to do with that? I don't know. Wouldn't they be just sort of fixing them and using them? Here, 
Because you were not looking at the fill that was inside the so-called bin. You were looking at the material that the so-called bin was made of. And as, as I said also, it was different materials that were included. A little bit of plaster, a little bit of brick, a little bit of this and that. It was all mixed up. And to create this kind of very strong material that we call now prehistoric concrete. <laughs> we have our internal definition for it. That's called prehistoric concrete. We have another example of that, which uh, when we excavate, we'll probably, we won't make it a priority sample, but you'll take a look at it. It's this step that we had here that also was made of a similar kind of material. So we want us to, to trace that type of material to see what it shows regularly, see what they all show the same uh, botanical remains and the mixture of the So this is an energy packet. It's more like a 
the actual composition of the feature itself. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Construction. It's the feature, the construction. Because when I found, when I heard packing, I thought it's really unusual I have nothing. Because up here especially, the one thing that I always have something in is packing of features like that. Okay. And there was nothing in there. Okay. Yeah, but this, this material yeah, this was round. Yeah. yeah, so you can see, like, I don't know if any of you have seen two years ago when Building 5 was being um, excavated and they had fill, and in the fill they had these very nicely ground pieces of different type of materials, including roof remains that were in small chunks. And it was so, it was ground, you know, like ground meat prepared <laughs> to be used. <laughs> For building, so this is that sort of thing that we're looking at. Really? Maybe this is coming from the stuff that <coughs> was on the side of it. Oh, I know. Not right in, in the middle or at the bottom of it. Yeah. Because we couldn't see anything as we excavated, we couldn't see anything really large. Yeah. Oh, okay. And Heidi, anything? No. Ten. Nine. Nine. Okay. One three. Okay. We will conclude our seven free tour in two thousand and one. And maybe we will have another one. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe not. <laughs> we'll see how you guys feel tomorrow <laughs> when we send you this down. Okay. Um, can I ask a question? Sure. Um, we're in the process this afternoon selecting a subsample of non tour mm -hmm. units. Mm -hmm. that would probably be a nice idea to have analyzed. Mm -hmm. And um, everybody's here, mm -hmm. and I'm wondering if you could, uh, between now and lunch, jot down mm -hmm. some unit numbers sure. that are not on the priority tour, but either relate to those samples, say for example the second one, I mean obviously we do that because it's a problem sure. number, but these other areas that we think are really yeah. nifty or yeah, comparable, okay. especially after some time has passed and you look back and you have a sequence. That'd be perfect for us because we have a number of spots where we would like you to look at the samples, like in the kitchen area, that stuff that you have looked at, but then on top of that, we are coming we, immediately after this floor, we have this extensive floor in the kitchen. This is our first real extensive floor in the kitchen. Everything else about it was like bits and pieces of the floor. It was terrible. And under that, we have this huge amount of ray hard type of material. So that'd be interesting. And then this whole black layer over here, and whatever work we do on the bins and around the bins would be interesting. So, so the point is, we need the list yeah. by noon. Oh, today? Yes, because we need to have the samples ready by 5 tomorrow. Oh, so we the export is export. Aren't you going to do this one more time? Yes. Well, we're talk I'm talking about yeah, we're exporting maybe. for Ruth to carry um, and carry. Well, maybe these but ones that are, that are going to be well, excavated. Well, I'm talking about the past, not the future. Okay. And okay, we'll, we'll do the past. Not just, one. you know, in the next three days, what you're going to do. I mean, obviously, that's wonderful, and we can talk about that. I'm talking about, okay. you can spend some time okay. thinking about the, past, the sequence that you've been through this year and what seems to be interesting but didn't quite make it on the tour. Okay. So how many roughly? Are we talking about 10 units? Are we talking about 20, 50? 25. We're going to put 25. some in our own one big bag. One big bag. About 25. It's not very big. That's my question. 20 units. Okay. And if they are small, it's Well, 25. we're going to be throwing some in that we think are interesting too. Okay. All right, all right. We'll sit down now after the So in a way, we're asking for secondary priority. OK. Thank you. Christine, the ones that, um, like the big black layer, which is obviously going to be a future a sure. future one, can that go to Ankara in case somebody wants to look at it? Yes. It's amazing. But we have to have the list ready by 5 today. Oh, the same. 
Well, it's all going to the museum to be sealed. Yeah, we actually have a sample too. Really? Yes, and then if we have to have a sample to be floated and dry. All right. So that maybe will be something in the future. Now, if you're really concerned, I mean, to get to the subject of the next three days and the wonders you're finding. Um, <laughs> Because I haven't talked to Shahina yet, but I'm assuming that because there's a lot of heavy residues that haven't been weighed and processed, and part of that is the scale, and part of that is there's a, re -black be a, back there's a backlog of 50 or so, right? Mm -hmm. um, at this point, we, we estimated we could get them done by Sunday, but they're not making it in the back. So, however, that may come to pass, especially those heavy residues um, may come to pass that Shahino will be able to finesse a second, a little teeny we carrying Yeah, we talked about it before, I think, that we would have a chance to have a second going to the museum, uh, fairly close to the end of our season, or, or immediately after that, so that all the stuff that we excavate from now until then right. can... Right. So yeah, I'm, not, yeah. I'm not discounting okay. the wonders you have now. I'm just talking about the export. Okay. Okay. All right. We we'll might as well have some input. Otherwise, we're just going to be picking what we think is strong. And you, you, you guys are the ones everybody's been picking and has their favorites that they want to take. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that right now. Good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, well you're going to tell us. You're going to tell us these that you would sort of like us to look at. Oh, right now, you mean? Well, Maybe I mean, right it's now. now or never. <laughs> no, I, we have already talked about that stuff. Yeah. Um, we had actually another priority that you haven't looked at, uh, which comes from from that hole that is just below where Peggy is standing. It's a cut of some sort. It could be related to the ladder, ladder that was here in place uh, for entry. Um, so we'll do that. Uh, what else shall we include? We'll include the, the fill in What's this the feature. Well, we can we can provide you the numbers, you know, rather than now. Um, we'll we'll make the list for you, but I can just give you some. Okay, some. Sorry, what's your good Okay, do you remember the number? 8337. 8337. Is that one? And there's lava. What is this unit here, the, the inside of the. Uh, 8343. 8343, that's the side's feature. What feature? The feature is 7790. It's this circular thing here that was coming. <coughs> out of the floor, floor plasters, uh, something similar to this, but not exactly the same, similar to this. This is not really a bin, this is something else. This is a, a bin. Working surface? It could be a working surface, yeah. And this could be a working surface, but raised working surfaces. It's like little pedestals. Um, what else? What else, guys, is down there that's interesting? We haven't actually excavated much. Yeah, but that's, that's going to come, what we have already sent down and processed. Maybe we'll do some more of our packings and floors in this area. That's probably going to be the most productive since it's yeah. all storage. And we'll do some of the, of the bin we have two large bins here in the northern area, and uh, they have been heavily damaged and cut uh, in the later cuts. But still, we, we do have some poor surface in one of them, so that stuff will give you to look at. And that is, uh, we, I don't remember that unit number, do I you? Don't no, know. we'll have to it's look at that. Yeah. Has that already been floated? Yeah. yeah. That's been, that has been done last week. Already. Apart from that, it will be mostly packings. Well, you, so you, you, we've written down four areas, four units. Yeah, yeah. 8298, 
unknown number. Yeah. Any number. Yeah. What, do you remember the future number for that? Yeah, not this one, but this one. We have like 150 features in this house. Seriously, 786. It's features 786. We should count, we should count how many features we have. So that we know. Yeah, we'll give you some of that. Right. Yeah, I'll give it to you in. But the question is, did you really seriously want us to do some of these for Saturday? That's what we need to know. For Sunday, or Sunday. whatever. Saturday. Yeah, because mm -hmm. you know this is this is a serious endeavor. We have to like go right down to heavy residue and get it going. Well, if we don't have to, if Please. you think that uh, there is a pretty good <coughs> chance that some of this material will make it in this second going to the museum, and that. This can end up this year being looked at, either in Ankara or in Berkeley. In other words, uh, maybe on Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday next week, if the Shakina decides to really go, make a second trip to the museum with Malcolm, and we put this stuff in. Next month. Well, I haven't talked to Shakina about that. I have no idea. She was open to that before, to that idea. It'd be pity not to, I mean, have any immediate input on this stuff. This is the stuff yeah. that produced like tons of tubers. And Has it been floated? Well, some bits and pieces. No, no, we are just excavating. It just comes down to it now. Oh yeah. So. Break my neck. We don't have to have a priority. We don't have to have right. a priority. Sure. That's right. You take a look and you tell us, oh, guys, this is extremely sure. can, important. Can, if, if, you, if, if there's like this really super one, and not not that these other ones will yeah. can go on the list to, to be exported, but not sure. geared up, we'll focus on that one. OK. Yeah, let's take a look at that one and so yeah, talk we'll about it for, for Sunday. Right. We'll try and get it processed by it. Yeah. The unit number, Dragon, what's the unit number? Um, what you're doing now? 8359. 8359. So these are the ones we just got, the 8298337. Those we won't do for Sunday, or we will? No, no, we won't. no, just no. the 8359. Yeah, just so look at that one. What are you calling it, more or less? I mean, uh, midden? No, it's not midden. It's part of the, it is basically used as packing. It is alongside with this one. You see, this floor had, on the higher surface, had this kind of packing, this burned, redeposited stuff. And then suddenly, in this area, next to the burial, we end up, instead of having this, yeah. we are getting it this flat layer. Different layers. Different layers. Yeah. But they concentrated it in this area. They did not mix it with the rest of the packing and spread it around on the whole surface. They just put it right here. And so that happens. Well, I don't think it's a midnight. I think it's a fairly clean deposit, uh, like one event deposit, large deposit, but one event. It doesn't seem it's it's not a midnight. There is nothing like except for charcoal ash and whatever plant material you find in it. We don't see anything else. It's not it. Yeah, well, it has a little bit of obsidian and, and burnt stone, but it's not. Doesn't look like me. Okay. It looks yeah. like yeah. Yeah. And uh, it is. It's close to this burial. It's just right on the border with the burial cuts, burial pits. Even though it is from an earlier phase than the burials, the burials come from this floor, and this that stuff, black stuff, is below the floor. Um, and it's right in front of the screen wall, of course, and goes up to the half of the screen, right 